where we press them before they they continue. Now this process takes like two days before they con they came to the hand. We then they pan. Some of the bricks they are looking like this from down there, up to here, and the bricks are around uh, twenty thousand. Now here we start another process of making bricks. As you see from the previous video, they, they managed to reach here. Now we are continuing with the process. Here we have some workers who are helping us to do this work as they are trying to help us. Now here we have a lot of firewood that we are going to use to make this process to become successful. And the workers are actually working or doing the right work here, as you see. This is the process now. The firewood is enough here that this process needs a lot of firewood and it has must to be it must to be dry firewood and mixing them with those that has not been dried enough so that they can be able to pan for a long time and it does not as in it does not it does not burn faster. Now this is the place where we are taking this process by the way. As you see the uh, the workers are actually doing the right work as they are trying to do it faster so that even if you see the water is not that much conducive as that's why we are trying to do it faster so that you can be able to to manage it. They're doing the right work uh, and there are many of them due to that we want this work to be done uh, faster and we pan them. Okay, we don't want to, to give them a lot of time or a lot of days so that we pan. So it's good for us to do it faster and we pan. Guys, this is the nature of ours. This is how it uh, looks like. Yeah. And this is our shed where we are storing our, actually this is our store for bricks. And here the process continues with us. Now here we had to cover the bricks because there's a rain. It is raining now here. That's why the reason why we are see, we are seeing that we are covering the bricks from direct rainfall so that cannot be affected with the rain and you know very well that if it's rained on the bricks will not be panned well because you may find that has already observed some water apart from that here we are with the chitens chitens is trying to have fun with the these ladies who are helping us to cut some bricks from a distance where we stored some other bricks now you know it's a woman you have to interact with other women. As they are taking uh, some big pictures actually for the reverence and the memories 
here at quarantine the place of of pricks Now here we are preparing the mat for smearing the outer cover of the bricks. This is uh, helping from preventing the roots of it from the bricks when we start panning the process. So here we had to prepare this one so that we can be able to smear the bricks before we we pan or we light the fire, the fireplace funnels. So they have to prepare it well. They, they mix it to ensure that it's enough or. Uh, it's well prepared so that it can be smeared well and prevent the force of heat from the bricks actually. This process of preparing this, it needs water and uh, some soil, a type of soil, it depends on the soil that you are using. Maybe you may use the wrong soil or clay soil with enough water so that you can be able to smear well on the outer covers of the of the bricks. Apart from that, we had to prepare for the this top layer of the soil or of the grass that we had, uh, it contained grass. This is used to cover the top of the the top of the top of the bricks because we cannot be able to smear from the top. Even if we smear and the rain comes or uh, the rain 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 on the bricks, it can remove and penetrate into the uh, so we have to use this one so that we can be able to prevent the rain from entering direct to the bricks. This process of preventing it, it helps on uh, preventing the heat rising into the air easily because you know it moves upwards. So the, uh, these things of the top layer of the soil which contains the grass, it is better to prevent uh, uh, the rose of heat into the air. So we had to do it. Here you see they are throwing uh, up to the top of the soil, the, the bricks. And this process actually needs the serious people. So they had to throw them and they cover the top layer of the bricks. I want to show you now the uh, top layer looks like after they have covering and they have done everything.
this uh, this is the top layer where the, the uh, these things are covering from the top so that we prevent a, a loss of heat and as well as the the direct contact of rain for from the the lane so we have to cover them uh, and we cover them uh, evenly if we cannot cover them evenly and we cover them and evenly then some bricks from the top may be punched and the rest which has not been covered evenly may fail to pan well so we have to do it well we arrange them consistently so that we prevent the rules of it and we manage to pan all the uh, bricks up to the top layer you know here the, the outer cover around the corners it does not pan but here on the top they actually pan actually they pan until these things turn to black yeah i don't know how we call them on uh, on on english but what you can see we just call them uh, we call them amatija so amatija the one that we are using to cover from the top now here we are starting the process of uh, the process of smearing we have to smear all around with the mud until you may think like that uh, it's a house that we are uh, building. So the process of mudding or smearing has started. Actually, it's mudding, not smearing. We have starting mudding now. We mud until we complete around the bricks because if we cannot do it so, then the bricks may fail to pan simply because the, there's rows of heat from the brick. So before we pan or we light the fire, we had to uh, smear all around. You see, there's another mud here. The, the other one here, I think you showed, I showed you where the other gentleman was preparing it. So the process continues like that until we smear around the, around the bricks. Now here is the top layer, which we have already even already splitted the, the amatija. I think you know what I'm calling amatija. So after there, we do what we continue matting as you see to the other side from the uh, other side have already smeared. Here the process continues as you see they are continuing matting. This process continues until we finish uh, finish matting. Then it's the time we can light the fire uh, in the fire panel fire panels yeah yeah my guys say yeah they are doing the right work as they continuing mudding the uh, ground here is where we have reached with the process of matting actually they are removing the, the the covers that we use to cover them written papers that we use to cover them from the top because it was uh, almost raining so they had to remove them as they continue uh, matting the matting has to take around two to three hours depending on the number of the people that you have so they have to work hard so that we complete as hard as possible. Yeah, they are continuing. Now, apart from that, here we have a uh, blessed word. I don't know how we call it. This one is from Catholic. And with this uh, kind of... Uh, branches of a tree this one it's used to like now we are praising our work before we pan and the through praising the the the, the, the bricks then it's the, now the time we can pan the reason why i use string this is actually want to make uh, uh, to add more water so that they, 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 we have a lot of water so that we can spray around you know we had to press the our work because everything we do we are in for fault and through our little hands that we are doing this work for us to 
we could upon so that we can trace us uh, our work before we continue so we had to bring this one and the type of the branches that we are using in mother tank we call them let me even know this is the the branches that were used mostly with uh, uh, our ancestors on uh, pressing those people who one uh, were supposed to be pressed so we are using them to press the work and we choose this one because it's now like the, he knows more about these things that's the reason why we had to look for him so that he can press this thing because at a point he was present with the ancestors somehow so we had to go around the the bricks so that I see is placed this pressed water which we call from the Catholic Church. So we have to continue it until he finishes so that apart from there He had to throw away everything that he was using uh, near the uh, bricks or on the top of the bricks. After there, we had to use the salt. I know most of you know the reason why the importance of salt. So after using this salt, we had to spray around or around this place where there is bricks, uh, close the bricks as you see this way, and the near the bricks. I think around the bricks okay and the near the bricks so the reason why we are using this one i think you understand the work of the salt and used salt that's a lot of work that's a lot of things to do with it so we had to say to to spray this salt around the around the bricks Now he has gone around the bricks where he is smearing or spray, spraying the, the salt. I, I know you know the reason why we are doing so.
also even to wear else firewood we had to spray all around the bricks so that and then me up the bricks now from here the process that we is going to start is uh, writing up the file and doing everything as it's needed here is my friend was done the work until this now i is so tired is she it's just to explain something here in mother tongue now from here the process that's going to follow up is just a process of a panning now we want to write up the file and we start now the process of panning the bricks Okay, from there, now the process of uh, lighting up the, the fire it has started. Here we use these sacks of the cement bags to prevent, as you see here, it has already rained and the place is so cold or wet. So we have to use this one to light up the fire up. Now here the man comes who will start now writing the fire. I think the process is going to start of writing the fire around the both sides from this side and the other side. As we are continuing guys, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel as well as subscribing to my Hatha team members or the G10 group. We've just tried to trap the fire and now let's continue watching and you watch how now we are doing these things. I think from here you can watch and knowing what next is going to follow up. And this process is going to take place over the midnight until midnight I think or the whole night until the following day. It's when we are going to uh, cause this uh, final fire and uh, fire, um, fire Panels. That is the time we are going to cross them. So I think here yeah, you are going to enjoy and watching on what you actually we are doing.
this is how the file stays here light it up and now we are continuing panning until we ensure that now the fire has become so strong and we start put a big firewood as you see and we are trying to write the last funnel from this side before we start writing the other sides of the funnels remember this work is so tired tireless so we had to we had to work hard to ensure that we are making something which is good at the end of it we are going to have the best salt, uh, salt of high quality Now here is how we have started the fire. Now it has started getting stronger by slowly and slowly until we finish from this side so that we start from the other side. Some of the members they are from the other side trying to light up the fire. You see, now we have started using the 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 pig firewood. Because now the fire is starting becoming so strong, so it can burn in type of the uh, the firewood. Okay, now yeah, it's almost two p.m. Um, it's almost eight p.m. in the night, and we have to stay here until morning. Yes, we are going. Yes, we are going to take our sleep over until morning. Now we have to ensure that we are uh, lighting up the fire without going off until the the the, the heat reaches on the top, so that's the time we can close the fire. Please, we have a lot of things and a lot of work to do here because no one is going to sleep actually. Because uh, here you have to pick in and ensure that you are uh, pressing firewood into the fire panels in the right way and the, the kind of dead firewood weight is uh, swung off. Let's try it again. So we have to take all the time all the night here and the following day. I think you can watch the following day the videos that we are going to, to do. 
about this. As you see from the other side also, the fire press has already laid it up. Now we divide it into two groups from here and the other side. So it's like a competition uh, taking place here. We have to take serious competition here actually, ensuring that we are placing when we are placing placing the firewoods into the fire panels and without showing off. Actually, for the next video, which we are going to do, we are going to see how our midnight was, and we had to take uh, lights from home. Where you see two lights from there, like a vehicle coming, that's where home is. So, we had to take uh, lights from there so that we can use here as the process continues. For the next video, you can see now our mid night was how we take a supper here and other things how it were done how it were done or how it was done other things were done actually so let's meet on the next video and continue watching at the end of it please remember to subscribe to my youtube channel and the other channel of the g10s please let us support each other we grow as a community that's our main aim